Hello, good morning. I'm going to do things a little differently today. It's a day in the life of never not sailing on the road in Europe. Thank you, my love. So now we've got to pack everything up. Uh, we really make ourselves at home when we're living out of a bag and it all turns into a bit of a shit show. Yeah. Um, but this one is particularly uh, complex because the <laughs> bed, well, the TV was here um, and they had plastic chairs. So we brought these two chairs in. This is an actual makeshift bed. So we need to put these chairs back to where they are. We need to pack up all of this cack. <laughs> and then this bed was up in this loft, but Tyler couldn't fit in there because he's too long. So we pulled the mattress down here um, for the AC purposes. Um, so this needs to go back up. The chairs need to go back in its spot. We need to pack and do the dishes. Um, so we'll do all this kind of stuff first and then we'll shower and then start packing the car and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, fun. I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen by doing the dishes and extracting the um, cutlery and things that's ours, like our tongs and bits like that. Tom and I really get in each other's way when we're packing, so our deal is that I let him pack up his stuff and then I'll come in and do mine. So we've been at this for about 20 minutes and it's transforming. So we got obviously that sorted and the mattress is upstairs. The bag's pretty much packed just for my water bottle. This is just packed except for toiletries. So it's just little laundry is in that bag. Tyler will pack away because he's meticulous. All our coffee stuff, um, we'll fill up water bottles. We've got our pantry ready to go. Um, need to pack shoes away and then it's just all a matter of getting this all downstairs um, and packed into the car but it's a little bit complicated because the car's a 10 minute walk away and we're also in the old town so there's no cars in this area so we need to put together a bit of a um, routine to get everything down and then be able to pick it up with the car. Trash and poo! I normally do this with my not a black chop but obviously PG. Then I will do CC, oil, sunscreen, deodorant. You know what I found out today? Yeah. We've finally got enough views to work out our viewing demographic. Mm -hmm. And our view viewing demographic is primarily male. Oh, cool. Here's some shit that you can buy the women in your life because they will enjoy it because it's high quality at a reasonable price. So just do final run throughs. We always check the um, charging ports to make sure that we didn't leave charges behind. We've got our phones on us. Sunnies, hats, wallets, drink bottles and the rest of it then we know kind of what it looks like. So we're finding in Europe that there aren't very many places that have parking available because they're in lots of old towns and just no parking on site. So even if it isn't in an old town, it will often be like a garage that's a five, 10 minute walk away. Yeah. So it's always a matter of dropping the things in and then going and parking when we come in, or in this case, having to take everything to a pickup point, walk it all out and then go and get the car while someone looks after the baggage. So that's what we're doing today. Yeah. 
um, in places where we're only there for a few nights and we're not really settling in, we're doing lots of touristic stuff, we won't bring up the pantry or the cooker if there's a stove top. Um, but we have brought the full, full hog. Yeah. So this is the first of two loads. We'll carry all of this stuff together. Then Tyler will come back while I wait at the corner with the stuff that we already have. And he'll come back for the pantry. Then he'll meet me. Then I'll go and get the car and come and meet him while he looks after all the stuff. <laughs> Ta-da! And off he goes. Bye, Bene. Bye, Bene. So that's taken us about 45 minutes from starting to pack to getting here. Yeah. Yuck. Okay, so I'm gonna um, get the car ready. Because this is a mess. So we put all of this junk in the back and cover it up when we leave the car, but it does, everything has its place, even though it seems a bit haphazard. Um, so we put all of our like winter jackets there, shoes down there, books up here, Tyler's bag will go there, coffee will go over there, and then it just leaves space in the back for my bag, the laundry, and the pantry. Let's watch the magic, hey? The pantry will get packed in there, and then all these things will go around it. The two, um, tubs that you see at the back there. One of them is mostly my shoes. So one tub for shoes and another tub for shits and bits. Oh shit. That bloody suction thing's come off because I was trying to show you how I like plug in my phone. I don't know how it goes back on. Give me a sec. Depends on Walmart. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. Straight. Yeah, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Left. And then left. Right. Left. I can't go left. It's one way. Oh. I don't think it's one way. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, 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 you're right, you're right, just go. Alright, we navigated that, alright, we negotiated those streets. Yep. Oof. Deal to the left here. Yeah. Alrighty, so after all of that noise, uh, we wait until we're on a uh, decent stretch of highway, so we've got 21 kilometres to our next direction. Um, before we actually say hello. Hello, good morning. We're just left for Stoya. <laughs> for Stoya. Um, and we're on our way to Lake Garda today, but we uh, will be passing through Bologna on the way, so we thought that we'd go into Bologna for lunch. Um, they're national, they're, they're supposed to be like the food like capital of the country, it's supposed to be the best place for all food, but their regional dish is um, ragu, ragu, spaghetti ragu, or like a tagliatelle ragu, but your your Italian original version of spaghetti bolognese pretty much. So we're gonna go to Bologna, have some lunch, and then on to Lake Garda. So and now we listen to our audio book. Okay, so I've just been doing some research uh, on Bologna and a lot of the country, uh, all of the towns and cities in uh, Italy have ZTL zones. So basically no traffic allowed. This is their way of 
stopping carbon emissions. Uh, so what, we can't park in the centre? No. Um, I don't want to get stitched up. Like we did Pisa and think that we had like a sick um, park close to the Yeah, so I've read stick. that the white lines are for residential parking, not for free parking. Ah. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll find a garage and we'll park there and yeah, pay for it. Yeah, let's just pay for it. A 2733. Oh, please. 950. Yes, Italy. If this was France, I would have been 70 euro pricks. Arrivederci. Uh, um, weirdly, we've picked a spot where this is where we used to park when I was working for Bus About. Like this exact spot that you picked without discussion. So, feeling fortuitous. A travel day is always a daggy day. We don't often do little stops, um, but we did it in Pisa and I felt like a huge Dero. And that was a real short one though, but we're gonna spend a little while here and go to a restaurant for lunch. So I'm gonna do a little um, outfit change. Greasy 80s flip. Maybe I'll put a hat on. You know, it's fashion, darling. The fashionable, but at least I feel a little bit better. Mm. I get really nervous about leaving the car with all of our shit in, so I have one of my passports on me, and I just try to throw, I hid my bag, and then I've kind of just draped yours with one of the sweaters. And luckily we've got the back that's covered. I'm not super keen on waiting around. Yeah. But it must be good. Well, yeah, I just googled, you know, good restaurants Bologna. And this came up and then there's this huge line. Always carry cards. Anyway, how is your speedy bolognese? Tastes, tastes pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's really basic. <laughs> okay, let's do a quick review of what we just had for lunch. 15 minute wait. A serie della Orsa. Orsa. Um, turns out it's like the, the oldest chateria or the oldest restaurant in town. Um, no gusht. It was just okay. It was okay. No, so, nothing about the food was like hateful. The tortellini and broth that we had, I said to Tyler, it reminded me of those like fresh sealed packets that you got in the cold section at Coles. It was just no good. And the broth was just like warm chicken broth. There was no depth of flavor. There was nothing special going on. to Lake Gaida. So because it looks like it's in a really isolated spot, we've had to look up where the closest supermarket is to that place so that we'll do it on the way. Normally when we get into a place, we'll unload all our stuff and then go for a walk to the local, su local supermarket to get milk and anything that we want for dinner that night or whatever we're cooking. Um, but there's nothing close by, so we're going to the shops on the way. two dinners and we stocked up on olive oil and coffee 55 euro and now the fun begins the Part where we don't know where we're going, we don't know where we're parking. 
you know, where reception is and that we pulled up and now this woman's giving this face of what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, she said here on the side in the green and then I'll, I'll, we'll just check in and see what the, the crack is. Be. Come back for cooking stuff later. Bona sera. Bona sera. Oh, she won. Pretty. Basic, all good. Ja. I want to know who actually uses hotel products and who uses this, mate. Go get the rest of the stuff out of the car and then. Move the car? Yeah. Alright. So Tyler's gonna go shift the car and I'm going to put this stuff in some kind of order. Unpack things in the fridge. My stuff. Other stuff. Absolute miniature miniature fridge. Pantry, coffee, wine glasses, stove, cooker. Hot shoes, that'll be laundry, and I always just grab my toilet shoes out so you don't end up coming in to the whatever. No one cares. Over it. Tyler will come back from parking the car and we'll get all of the like charges and he'll set up the TV um, and see if the hard drive will plug in or whether we need the HDMI cord to plug in my laptop if you want to watch something. Um, usually we'll go out when we first get into a place and go for a little stroll, so I'm not sure if we'll do that this evening. We're just saying... No, that's the Alba one. The mat. Mm. I said in the laundry bag. That's okay. I'll that's take right. it back and... I'll Um, I thought it was a hero moment. Oh well, right. Oh mate, look at this though. <sighs> yeah, I can wake up to that. It's mining. Or do you? Hmm? Sure. Big day finished with a big beer. And cards. A big cold. A big hard thirst is a bit cool beer. The best uh, cold uh, beer is Peroni. Italian uh, Peroni. Uh, Alright, shithead. It's the name of the game, I'm not being mean. Dishes are done. Day is done. Day is done. Buona notte. Are you as exhausted as we are? Yeah, mm. doubt it. Thanks heaps for watching. If you like this video, click on the playlist to watch the rest of our European adventure. You can see where we started and how the bloody hell we got here on Never Not. <laughs>